You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today we're going to take a look at the X-Pan system made by Manfrotto and the heart of that is this thing is called an auto pole and for me to really show you this we're going to have to put it in the studio uh, so we can show you how it wedges in. So we'll look at this a little bit later but right now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the stuff that mounts to that auto pole. Now the cool thing is the auto pole can be used for all kinds of stuff. You can mount lights to it but today we're going to specifically talk about the X-Pan system that allows you to mount seamless paper backgrounds. So what happens is uh, you can get this system we're showing you now actually is the uh, three X-Pan set and so it's got three actual places to hang paper and you can get this in different variations so you can get this uh, I believe up to nine different uh, hooks on here and that's really helpful if you're in a studio with lots of different backgrounds they have to uh, change quickly. Now this system here, it's, it's a crazy value. It's $380 for everything we're going to show you today. That includes two uh, auto poles, it includes these two brackets, it includes the super clamps, it includes three sets of these guys right here that actually allow you to mount seamless paper and the chains and the counterweights and everything. So $380 bucks for a background system. It's really pretty spectacular. Now how this works is you get two brackets like this. So I have one that I've built out and one that's as it comes in the box. And and these guys uh, mount to those poles and then they allow you to mount these guys right here. And what these do is they slide right on here. There's one on each side and that allows you to put a piece of seamless paper uh, in between these and that holds it up. So uh, let me show you what this does. This slides into the seamless paper and then you twist this knob right here and that uh, expands and that'll hold that paper on there. And then let me show you the other side because it's a little bit different. So the other side here, what we have, I'll move this guy out of the way. This is uh, the other side and it allows you to put a chain on there. Now I've taken this chain and I've shortened it just a little bit and I'll show you how that works. But this guy uh, pops right in to this bracket. And so once you have that on there, this chain allows you to move your roll of paper up and down. And so that allows you to put it up 12, 15 feet, 10 feet, whatever you need. And then instead of having to climb up a ladder and do a lot of things, you can just quickly roll the paper up and down. And it's really, really nice. Now to mount these brackets to your auto pole, uh, what this comes with is a super clamp. And then the super clamp actually screws right on to the back of this. And it comes with the screws to do that. So that quickly mounts and it even comes with an Allen wrench so that you don't even need any tools. So that mounts right on there like that. And uh, once you get that all mounted up, it'll look something like this. And then the other thing that comes with are these little brackets right here. And what that does is it allows these, uh, the bottom of this to make sure it lines up with the uh, bracket at the top. So to really understand how this whole system looks, we're going to go over to the set so you can see it in action. And we'll also take a look how the auto poles mount between the floor and the ceiling. All right, well, let's take a look at the auto pole. Now I have one right here. Now normally we'd have two in a system, but you'll get the idea of how to set this up. So the way this works is there's this lever here that unlocks and locks everything. And then you can actually expand this. And this goes all the way up to 12 feet. So you can really uh, put this in a place as high ceilings. And then you can also uh, get an extension to this, which is an additional five feet. And so if you have a, like a, a 15 or 16 foot ceiling, you'll be able to get all the way in there. In fact, we have really tall ceilings here and we have the extensions that add on to the height of this and we'll show you that in a second. Now how you set this up is really simple is uh, you just unlock this and then uh, what I'll do is I'll take the bottom here and I'll put it where it's right lined up in the middle of this door frame then I'll take the top and I'll just lift it until it hits right there and then when I uh, take this lever and close it you can see that that expands everything and locks it right into place and now that is really steady it's really uh, rock solid Now when you get your auto pole in place then you can start adding stuff to it and so what I'll do is I'll take this uh, that we assembled earlier it's got the super clamp on there and it's got this little guy that allows it to make sure it lines up exactly right and so once I have that I'll put it right on the auto pole tighten it up and then we have one half of our system all set up. Now once you have that on there, you can start adding your drive system. And so again, this is one half of this drive. And so when I put this on here, it just slides right in there like that. 
And then when I roll this, you can see that it uh, moves that, so your paper would be moving around. So I'll rotate this around just a little bit so you can see that a little bit more clearly. So once again, this mounts right in there, and then you can uh, rotate that left and right. And then depending if you have it on the right or left-hand side, uh, you can mount this in a couple of different ways. So it's really, really nice. Uh, it's really quick, and it's really easy. Now what I want to do is show you this in real life and how we use it in our studio. So let's take a look at that now. So our studio has very tall ceilings, they're 16 feet, and so we actually have the extensions on the end of our auto poles, and you can see that they are really snug against the studs in the ceiling and our concrete floor. And then we've added our expand system with our super clamps, and we only have two rolls of paper hanging right now, but we could uh, add up to three different rolls. And because they're up there, we can really quickly use the chains to lower or raise each roll of paper, and it makes it really simple to get things in order in the studio. Well, that's the Manfrotto X-Pan system. Now, what we showed you today, it had an X-Pan holder with three hooks, and you can get these with uh, different hooks. So you can get one with just a single hook, you can get one with three like we showed you today. You can get one with four, six, or even 10 hooks. So depending on what kind of studio you're in, you're in and what, how many backgrounds you have to have, you have a lot of options. Now, what we showed you today, it's $380 for everything. That's the auto poles, it's the X-Pan holders, which is this guy, the drive sets that actually hold the seamless paper and the chain and the super clamps and everything. Again, 380 bucks. It's really spectacular. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, if you have questions about photography equipment or photography in general, you can send your questions to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.